Girl, if DJ Envy don't take his old bother looking ass on some work, I'm not gonna deal. Hey girlies, make sure that you're checking out youtube.com slash Adrian Extra. I'm gonna put up another video today, I think. I just got a new game, so I'm very excited to go ahead and play it. Make sure that you're already paying attention to the videos being released on that channel, okay? That's all I'm saying. Y'all already know what the T is for the culture podcast.com, patreon.com slash Adrian Expression. The brand is expanding. Remember I told y'all to expand the brand? The brand's expanding. Now let me tell you what also is expanding the universe. Because Thanos is coming. Thanos is coming to put a gaping black hole in the center of the universe. He said he's ready to balance it out. He said he's going to kill half the life in the universe. And sweetie, me definitely, I would definitely be affected by Thanos because the amount of time and energy that I spend getting my life, if Thanos takes half of it, I don't, what else would I do? Half of my personality would be gone. So I don't know what else. Now, Captain America looks like he's about to pass the fuck away. The only thing that he's doing is running around, throwing a fucking vibranium frisbee around. It's not that impressive. I already told y'all. I'm not here for Captain America like that. Black Widow, I don't know what the fuck she's gonna do in the face of Thanos, girl. She might as well just stick to hacking computers and flipping over it like she's at a gym meet or some shit, like she's about to do gymnastics this. Uh, who else? Who else? Spider-Man, I guess we can let him stay because he got um, Iron Man suit, but I don't know. Iron Man or Captain America, one of these hoes about to die, or at least that's how the trailer is making it seem. And you know they love to give us a good twist and turn. So, girl, you better twist and you better turn, girl. All I know is that y'all better not touch any of the Guardians the galaxy don't do not touch those are my girls you better not um, take another one of Thor's eyes out it's just not happening okay so I'm really excited I'm so glad Marvel decided to drop the goddamn trailer apparently uh, the pre-sale tickets are out now Thanos does not look like he's anything to play with apparently in the trailer he's like literally chucking a moon at um, his opponents using the infinity gauntlet so it's just I'm sorry I nerded out for a second, but girl, it's, the time is now, okay? They were going to Wakanda to fight the battle because it's one of the most defensible countries in the world. It's just too much shit is going on, okay? But I, I'm really, really, even though Thanos wants to take it from me, I'm getting my life. Let's just talk about the matter at hand now. Let's just talk about it now. DJ Envy, I mean, he really took his Winnie the Pooh. You know, he took his harsh eating ass. He took his powdered milk drinking ass on his own show and then tried to walk off I'm just like girl first of all where's your black where do you think your black ass is going where do you think your ass is going sis you you work here girl you're not bird man <laughs> Sit your ass down, and that's exactly what he had to do, girl. If you're not aware, Jesus and Mero went on there to, I guess, promote their upcoming tour, and DJ Envy decided that this was the time that he was going to stand up for his wife, not when he was playing in between other people's legs, you know what I mean? Not when he was constantly cheating on her publicly. This was the moment. This was the grand, you know, now or never type of moment that he said, I'm gonna suddenly stand up for my wife. Now, uh, Mero and them didn't even say anything too crazy out the mouth like that. All they said was that DJ Envy his wife probably likes them checks and I would have to agree because the only way the only thing that I can make constantly being cheated on and constantly being taken advantage of easier is a couple stats sis and I don't blame her for that okay I don't blame I hope that she gets out of this trash ass situation but girl money does make it easier stop stop lying to yourselves girl stop lying to yourselves we all know it so I'm hoping that she can use that money to get the fuck out that trash ass relationship but I mean that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day uh, they were talking about you you guys are so pressed that DJ Envy uh, defending his wife. He already apologized for the shit. And just like, girl, no, there's a deeper issue to it here. And I tweeted about it. So if you follow me on Twitter, you will understand what I'm saying. But it's just like, man, a lot of times men talk about women like they're not humans. You know what I mean? Like they're property. So in other words, I can completely disrespect and cheat on and fuck her up. But you can't because that's mine. It's, she's not a human. She's my property. And then on top of that, you have the fact that these abu emotionally abusive people will abuse your ass in private but then come out in public defending your ass. All of a sudden, you know what I mean? Acting like you're the most beautiful, amazing, most charming human they ever met. And they, you know, they go in public acting like they completely respect you and they've never hurt you in, their, in your life. And how dare you? You disrespect my woman, but when you go back inside the house, she don't know where the, where the fuck was all that energy. You know what I mean? Where the fuck was all that energy? These type of actions that a lot of these people take, I'm not saying that DJ Envy is necessarily abusing her, but he's definitely, at the very least, taking emotional advantage of her, which I guess can count as abuse if you want. But those type of people who do that, they go out in public, they have this public persona that makes them seem so amazing, so nice, and so wonderful, so that when you're ready to leave their abusive ass, you're the one who looks crazy because they spent their whole time, their whole life, defending you in public and abusing you in private so now people have no idea what you've been dealing with this whole time. And so, why are you leaving?
believe in his ass. He's so good to us. He was telling me how much he loves you and shit. I don't trust these niggas as far as I can throw them. That's the deeper issue there, okay? So we're not talking about defending. If you wanted to defend your wife, you would have closed your fucking legs first. Let's just be honest about that. Second of all, girl, I don't, it's many men, and that's what I'm talking about. It's not just DJ Envy. It's many men who, who can't see. They're completely blind to the abuse that they're causing women in their own lives. But then when someone else turns that shit up against them, all of a sudden, they, they, you know, Inspector Gadget now, they understand what abuse means now. Girl, sit y'all asses down. And the last Last point I want to make is that, girl, you are a host of The Breakfast Club. Y'all have said worse shit about better people. You know what I mean? Y'all have said even more heinous, crazy shit. Every, a lot of women who come on the show, Amara, Janet, Mock, y'all have her on there and then was transphobic on the next episode. All these people who, all these women who come on the show completely disrespected to their face, little mama. But when it's your wife is a problem, girl, that's why you have no credibility in my book. No credibility. And now DJ Envy, you're online talking about, well, girl, why did they have that same energy when Jesus and Moreau went back to their show and started roasting your ass like the slice of bacon your ass looks like. You know what I mean? I don't know who you think you're threatening talking about. They should have kept that same energy. Not when you walked out, Charlemagne offered your y'all asses if y'all wanted to fight, you declined that offer. So it's just like shut your mouth at this point. Accept the roasting, take the L, DJ Envy, and just move on about your business, sis. Find a couple's counselor, stop cheating on your wife, and show her that you respect her instead of grandstanding on your own goddamn radio show. Kiss my ass. What else do we have to talk about, Miss Morgan Roof? Y'all want to talk about Morgan Roof, Dylan Roof's sister? Well, girl, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what's happening in Caucasian Nation. Okay, Morgan Roof, Dylan Roof's sister, has been arrested for carrying weapons to her school. Now, girl, that's not the kicker. The kicker is that she went on talking about these protests that were happening because of the shootings and was just essentially like, girl, you know it's only black people out there protesting. I hope they all get shot. So it's just like Morgan Roof. It's crazy because you didn't even see the trajectory where, you know, Dylan Roof was going and you said, girl, fuck it. I'm just going to do whatever the fuck I want. I'm taking weapons to my classroom, girl. I'm doing what I want because I can do what I want. Maybe you saw Brianna ass get away with murder, basically, and you say, you know, I'm going to do the same thing. It's not really rubbing me the right way. What someone said, which is the very unfortunate part of this, is that this kind of just proves that they were raised in a trash environment, their parents were trash, so it's probably 100% easier to just stick with what you know, stick with the violence and bigotry and hatred that you know, and racism that you know, as opposed to putting in the effort to change your mindset, because you're perfectly capable at that age to make decisions on your own. But it just sucks that they were raised in that environment. I can already tell. But anyway, Morgan roof let me show you this picture of yourself just in case you forgot it's perplexing how crazy so many white people talk online but when it's time to really you know put your money where your mouth is girl you're standing what is it, it looks like in a jail cell looking defeated girl you where was this energy where is this energy going that y'all have ready to drag us ready for us to die but bitch when the law comes for your ass you're just quiet as a mouse girl this is not disney and i don't see many mouse anywhere girl speak up you were saying? I'm gonna talk really quickly about the fact that Snapchat got their edges dragged by Rihanna, okay? Snapchat, I don't know, a lot of companies outsource their advertisements and a lot of their graphics and shit, so they may hire another company to do it and then post it. But anyway, this should not have passed through their filter. I'm not sure why they thought it was a good idea to, you know, put this ad up where it says slap Rihanna or punch Chris Brown, which one would you do? Like, what was the purpose of that as a whole? Rihanna decided to post this response and she essentially said, hey sis, I don't I'm not even doing this for me because I don't have personal feelings about the situation but for other people who have survived domestic violence this really was offensive you should take it down snapchat apologized and said I'm girl I'm sorry I mean it seems like snapchat hired somebody from Stan Twitter or some shit and said hey just make the most offensive graphics you can sis just I want something that really will shake the table and I mean they did and Rihanna said I'm gonna shake the whole app on your ass she told everybody to delete the app and <laughs> snapchat just do better please Please? And now we're entering the final political segment of this video, girl. Let's talk about the fact that Mueller decided to subpoena the Trump organization. First of all, that action already speaks volumes as it is because he, he could have privately asked Trump for the records. He could have asked Trump for the records, period. But he said, girl, let me just cut to the, cut to the chase. I'm subpoenaing that ass. Make sure you send over the documents or else. And I'm going to be interested in seeing how this fucking plays out because uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s wife, I forget her name. She said, girl, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this shit. Her name is Vanessa Trump. And uh, as soon as this news broke, she said, okay, girl, this is cute, but I'm getting a divorce. 
Uh, she filed for a divorce. I'm sure that Donald Trump Jr. has a prenup set in place, but what they're saying is that maybe Vanessa Trump is hoping to get some type of settlement before the subpoena and the investigation interferes with Trump's assets. She wants her fucking money before the, the government takes it, before Uncle Sam comes in and says, ah, 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 gotta be quicker than that, bitch. I am screaming at the fact that Trump's actual business is now being publicly gone after by Mueller ass. There's no, there's no other way around this shit other than Trump ass needs to go to goddamn jail. I'm ready to see it. I'm ready to see it! Trump's lawyers ended up telling him some time ago, hey, this investigation is going to be over quickly. It's not going to take that long. But the fact that Mueller ass has subpoenaed the Trump organization means that this investigation is going to take that much longer. It might take months longer because uh, it's going to be a lot of shit to sift through when it comes to this shit. So I just keep Keep your eyes out. Uh, watch for temper tantrums. Watch for Twitter meltdowns. Watch for huge distractions. Watch for speeches made to urge Americans to look into this particular direction, to this particular issue, as opposed to the huge ass elephant in the room, and that's the fact that Trump loves to ride on Putin's pee. I just wanted to send my thoughts out to everyone who has been affected by that bridge falling in Miami. It doesn't make any sense that we're living in a country that says it's one of the most developed ones in the world when we even got clean water. We got a bunch of homeless people. I think we have more empty houses and foreclosed homes. I think it's like 18 million foreclosed or like empty homes and like 3 million homeless people. And then we got collapsing bridges. We got all these problems, but the one problem that sticks out the most to a lot of these people is skin color, girl. Oh my God. How dare, it's just it's such a huge issue in race. I'm just so mad that there are niggers and the immigrants here. How dare they exist? I'm so mad, girl. Bridges are falling down on people's car, girl. You got a lot of shit to worry about. Donald Trump, you need to take your amazing world of gumball built ass right back to the make-believe universe that you and that tired ass toupee came from. Have a good goddamn evening.